All right, guys. So next thing we're going to do is the up-down counter here. Uh, so what you, you see on the screen here is that I have used the same counter here. So I have C5 colon 0, and I have C5 colon 0. But I have made one an up counter and one a down counter. But they have the exact same address. So similar to the Tweedo suite where they had the count up and count down as part of the same instruction, um, we're going to make the same instruction be both an up and a down counter. So C50 will be able to increment up and will be able to increment down. So I'm doing that by using two push buttons here. I have two normally open push buttons. One is going to count up. So here we'll see as I press that, then the cumulative value will go up. And when I press the down push button, which is right here, it's a normally open, and you'll see that the cumulative value goes down by one. So every time that I hit this um, up, up push button, then we're going to increment up. Every time I hit the down push button, then it increments down. Okay, and what we're doing is we're controlling this counter right here. So C50, everything that we're doing um, on the screen there is controlling this data table for this first counter, right? So when I hit the up, then we'll find that the accumulated value goes up and increments by one. There we go. And I hit the down, then it goes down by one. Okay, you can see here the bits for the count up and the count down. Every time that I hit that push button, so there's that count down, right? And here is the count up. Every time you put that push button, then those bits change as well. Excellent. Okay, so the next thing we need to look at is uh, when it gets to the that where the, the cumulative value equals the preset, we know that the done bit sets. So we're going to increment up every time that this instruction in line with the up counter is true, then we're going to increment up by one. So one, two, three, four. You can see that it retains the value even when I let go of the push button. And when the accumulated equals the preset value, then the done bit will set. So we'll see that this value will go to a 1. We're examining that it's a 1, so this light will also turn on when this guy flips over to a 1. Here it comes now. Beautiful. So the done bit has set. Um, now there is a couple issues here in that I can keep pressing this up counter and it can increment above 5. So we're going to have to make use of a limit at some point. Uh, but for right now, we're just showing that um, when the accumulated value is equal to or greater than the preset, then the done bit will set. Now I have a reset push button, uh, but the only other push button I had was a normally closed. So right now that push button is sending 24 volts into my PLC. Uh, you can see right here that the zero light is on, right? So that's my reset push button. So I'm examining when it uh, is no longer true or when that light goes out or when there's no longer uh, any voltage. So <clears throat> when I press that push button, then I will uh, stop that 24 volts going to that input and that will make this rung true and it will reset my counter. So now I've got an accumulated value of 15. When I hit that reset button in three, two, one, then you can see that accumulated value goes down to zero. I'm going to let go of that guy and it remains at zero. Beautiful. So right now we've created a, a type of circuit that looks like um, a parking lot, right? Where we have cars coming in. There are five spots in order for the cars to park. Once those five spots are filled, then the lot fill light comes on. And then as soon as somebody leaves, then we increment down, the lot fill light goes out, and it just changes as cars come in and out of the parking lot. As soon as the lot is full, then we just have a light that flashes. Beautiful. If at any point there was an issue where uh, the counter screwed up and went above or below, Okay, so again, we can see here that it will, there's no limit on the, the down counter. So when I go here, I go into a negative value, right? So if we had an issue like that, then we've got a reset push button that we can just press and it will reset it for the beginning of the day. Beautiful. All right, guys, that covers our up down counter. After this, maybe we'll look at uh, cascading count counters and uh, cascading timers and we'll get into some more complicated circuit. But so now we've got quite a few things in our toolbox now.
uh, in that we've got a latching circuit, um, we've got the open loop, the closed loop, now we've got the timers and the counters that we can make use of. Um, there's a whole whack of other instructions that we can make use of, but we've covered uh, the, the large portion of instructions that you're going to use uh, in your daily PLC um, instructions. All right, guys. Thanks very much for your patience. We'll see you guys on the next video.